Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a clothespin airplane. Now this airplane is kind of special because it's a model of a biplane. So if you haven't heard of a biplane, it's actually, it has two wings in the front. So you can tell that there's a wing on the top of the body of the plane and the wing on the bottom of the plane. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the history behind biplanes, because it's kinda of cool. And then we'll um, talk about what supplies you need and then how to make the plane. All right, so here's some information about the biplane, a little history for you. So remember, that's the two wings on the main body of the plane. So you've got one on the top and one on the bottom. Now the first powered and controlled airplane was actually a biplane. And this biplane was called the Wright Flyer, and it was invented by the Wright brothers. In 1903, the Wright Flyer was flown over Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and it made history because it flew 12 seconds and for 120 meters, which is about the length of a football field. It was a very big deal. And the interesting thing about this plane is that it was made out of wood and fabric, so it wasn't really made to last, kind of like what we think about planes today, made with metal and so forth. So biplanes continue to be the main airplane um, during this time, um, but it really wasn't until 1914, when World War I broke out, that the biplane got some modifications. They added machine guns, they added bombs, um, they made it like a war machine, basically. Um, and they even used aluminum to make it um, stronger and more durable. Okay, so after World War I, in the 1930s, that's when airplanes moved to the monoplanes, which is gonna have that one wing that we're more used to. Um, and the reason why they moved to monoplanes um, is basically because they're more efficient and faster airplanes. But the biplane has a very cool look to them, and I hope you enjoyed the history behind the biplanes. So now let's get into our craft. Okay, so let me show you what you need to make this craft. You're gonna need a clothespin, you're gonna need some craft sticks. Now I use three craft sticks and then I used a paddle spoon, but if you don't have a paddle spoon, it's no problem, you can just use another craft stick. So you'll need four craft sticks, okay? And then you'll also need, if you want your airplane to have some color on it, like mine here, you'll need either paint or you'll need markers. Okay, and then of course you're gonna need glue. So you can use probably any kind of glue that you have at home. Um, you can use kind of just like liquid glue. Um, tacky glue works really well, I found. Um, you could even try to use a glue stick, but I think what works best actually for this craft is glue dots if you have them, okay? So those are some, for, some different options for you. And then also if you wanna decorate um, I have uh, suggested some stickers here, and then the last thing to kind of decorate your plane is a little button. Okay, so that's all you need to make this craft. Okay, so let me show you how to create your model airplane here. So you're gonna, um, if you want to color your um, clothespins and craft sticks, go ahead and do that. Um, I just did mine with markers. And I made sure that I did the sides here because we're gonna be able to see the sides, um, the back, the front. So you wanna really color it well, um, even like on the insides, okay? Um, Cause it'll just make it look a little bit nicer. Take your clothespin and you wanna, you wanna make it so that you can see the little spring here on the side. So you can also open it kind of like, um, you know, a mouth or something. Okay, so that's gonna be, um, this will be the top of it. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue dot and I'm just gonna peel off the top of it, this little white paper. And then right here on the top where I've got this little metal bar, I'm gonna put the glue dot right on top of that. And that's where the first wing of our biplane is going to go. So we're just gonna take that off and you see how, how that just adhered so nicely there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my first wing on top of that like so, nothing to it. Now let's do the bottom wing, okay? So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to peel off this white part of my glue dot and then I'm just gonna put the dot, the glue dot right on top of the bottom metal bar, all right? So we press that and then it'll come right off for us. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do that bottom wing. So let's do actually the red stick here. 
So now already we have our biplane wings, okay? So now let's do our back wing, okay? So we'll just go ahead and do the same thing with our glue dots. Very good. And now for the propeller, that's why I use a, pad a paddle spoon because it kind of looks sort of like a propeller. So we're gonna do that in the front here. So we'll get one more glue dot for that. Just press it right on top of that front, kind of like where that mouth was that I showed you earlier on that clothespin. Okay, and then we just put the propeller right on front. And look how easy that is with the glue dots. I like glue dots. <laughs> Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to put in front of the propeller the little spinner that moves the propeller, okay? So we'll just put that right in front, right in the center of our plane, and we'll add our button. Okay, so not too difficult. We've got our plane now, and then if you have some stickers to decorate, have fun. All right, well, I hope that you had fun making your model airplane today. Um, real quickly, I wanted to mention that we have this awesome club in town where you can go and fly uh, model airplanes or watch people fly model airplanes. Um, it is called the Grand Junction Modeliers, and um, they basically fly remote-controlled model airplanes or helicopters, quad planes, um, and they do this on, um, it's called Whitewater Hill, and it's off 32 Road. Um, so if you want to just watch them fly, that's awesome. Um, I hear that you do need a certification if you want to actually fly your model airplane. So to find out more information about this club, check out gjmodeliers.com. All right, so if you want to learn more about airplanes, pilots, all that kind of cool stuff. We do have a lot of great books about that subject. We've got the Wright brothers here. We've got a couple of female pilots. Um, uh, we also have this story about how we learned how to fly, which is really cool. Um, this is also about all the different kind of flying machines that existed. Um, and then we've got about Charles Lindbergh, and this is the story about a kid that interviewed a pilot. So all kinds of great books that you can check out at Mesa County Libraries about um, the monoplanes, the biplanes, pilots, so forth. Um, also, if you have a library card and you want to look at some of our databases, there's a great resource. Um, it's called Primary Search, and you can go in and type in biplane, which is B I. P-L-A-N-E, and all you do is type that in and you'll come up with some other articles about biplanes, and there are also a few videos that you can watch about biplanes. So check that out, that's very cool. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed your craft today, and stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time. Bye.